Hey there, welcome back to Dyson Days, where we're making videos of our day-to-day -day striving to raise our children up in the Lord, and also a little bit of first-time homesteading. Today I'm making homemade laundry soap. I've been waiting uh, until I ran out of my store-bought soap, and today is the day. Also, the babies are both sleeping, so I'm going to try to get straight to the point and just tell you ingredients and how to make your laundry soap. Starting with ingredients, um, we have our soap, bar soap. I have Kirk's Fragrance Free Castile Soap. I think that's how you say it, Castile. Uh, we'll need a bar and a half of this because we'll need six ounces. Each bar is four ounces, so a bar and a half of our Castile soap. We need four cups of water. Um, and I use the reverse osmosis for the water. You can use uh, your filtered water from a Brita or yeah, any filtered water. And then you also need super washing soda. This is different than baking soda. Uh, I think I ordered mine off of Amazon um, I've heard it's harder to find in the store, uh, but you still can find it or order it. And it's pretty affordable for this huge thing. You only need one cup for our five gallon laundry soap. So I have our washing soda. Next is the borax. This one you can find in most stores in the laundry detergent aisle, I believe. We'll need a cup of that as well. And then I have a five gallon bucket from one of our stores uh, nearby. So this is not a food grade five gallon bucket. You can get food grade, it's just a little bit more expensive. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a ton of laundry detergent. So let's get started. So our first step in making our homemade laundry soap is to add the four cups of water to a pan here on the stove and we're gonna heat that up. Medium heat works great. This doesn't need to be a boil, but enough to melt our soap. Now, Because our Castile soap is fragrance free, the detergent will be fragrance free. So I am adding lemon oil uh, that I have on hand. One or two drops works great. The next step is to grate your bar soap. Um, now in my case, the grating I thought was taking a while. Uh, so I just cut it up into small squares and put it into the pan. Uh, grating will save you time when you're trying to melt the soap uh, and combine it with the four cups of water, but you can really do either way. I did not find my strategy to be helpful because the big chunks just took a while to melt. The next step, while we're waiting for the bar soap to melt in the water, we're going to fill our five gallon bucket up halfway with hot water from the sink. Uh, just as hot as it goes, it doesn't need to be boiling. My bucket is just about halfway full, so I get out the borax and the super washing soda, and now I'm going to measure out a cup of each. So I measured here a cup of borax. Now I'm gonna add this to the half filled five gallon bucket and stir it around until dissolved. And go ahead and repeat with your super washing soda up to one cup and add it to your bucket until dissolved. My bar soap is finally melted, so we're adding it now to the half-filled bucket. We're gonna stir this really well, and then we are going to top off our five gallon bucket with hot water. Now you can also fill up your bucket in the tub so that you don't come across my issue where 
I just was not strong enough to lift it out of the sink. Now I have this handy little one gallon, I believe it was a pickle jar at one point, um, jar. So I'm going to fill it with detergent. Now you are supposed to let it sit overnight for 24 hours, but I have a load that desperately needs to be washed today. So I'm going to use it without letting it sit overnight. I know, you can leave a comment if I'm doing this wrong. Now for each load, you use one half a cup. So if you think about it, this detergent is going to last a really long time. For just pennies, I might add. Smells great and everything is nice and clean. So we're going to step outside and of course, line dry, why not? That is how you make homemade laundry soap. Very easy, very affordable. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hope you give us a like, subscribe to our channel so you know the next time we post a video and we'll see you next time on Dyson Days.